Hello, I am Dr. Devjyoti Sarkar. I am a surgeon. I practice in Delhi and Gurgaon. One of the most common presenting complaints of the patients who come to my OPD is the inguinal hernia. There is a swelling in the groin region. It can be on one side or both sides. And often uh, they come uh, with the swelling which is reduced on lying down or a little bit of negotiation by the patient. And when he walks or he uh, does something strenuous or runs, then it becomes evident. This condition is called inguinal hernia. Inguinal hernias occur mostly in the middle-aged and the old-aged people. In after 40, the prostate tends to enlarge in size. And if there is any enlargement of the prostate which causes the block uh, in the outflow of urine, then we tend to apply pressure which uh, in turn increases the abdominal pressure and it uh, results in formation of hernia. Lifting of weights, uh, doing strenuous activities and uh, certain other uh, things are there which can predispose to this kind of condition. But once it happens, the treatment is surgical. Inguinal hernia most commonly occurs in the males. It uh, can occur in females, but it is uh, a little bit of a rare uh, condition in females. In males, it is very common. It can occur in any age group. It is not a disease. It is not a tumor. It is the weakness of the inguinal canal, uh, the uh, posterior wall of the inguinal canal from where the intestines tend to protrude outside or it is a weakness or uh, uh, the intestine protrude through the deep ring uh, which allows the spermatic cord to enter the abdominal cavity. So these are the two most common uh, types of inguinal hernia which are direct and indirect uh, respectively. The surgery for both the hernias are the same. The treatment is surgery and only operation is the solution to this problem there is no medicine and there is no other treatment available